Cass Hates for Nation, uh, here with Gabby Braniff, junior softball player out of Olympia, Washington. Appreciate you coming in. Very, very short notice. Like, Thanks for having as soon, me. <laughs> as soon as I contacted the coach, he had you over here in about two minutes later. So, <laughs> All right, well, you, we've pre-interviewed. You're feeling comfortable. You're ready to go, so we'll get right into it. Um, you guys are having one of those up and down years, um, yeah. try, still trying to figure things out, but it makes sense. I mean, a lot of uh, new individuals out there, so we get that, but... Where are we standing now, April 6th, coming off the Missouri Valley um, doubleheader? How do, you, how do you feel about the team? Um, I'm confident in our team's talent, and yeah. and we really do click well, um, aside from a few bumps uh, and struggles and facing sure. adversities. But uh, when we get on a roll, we're, we're yeah. right there with the best of them. So right. I think we just really need to put it all together and yeah. really focus on the little things that Coach has been telling us since, sure. you know, day one. And... Yeah. And we'll get it together. Right. Um, and I talked to uh, you know, Cheyenne and Cody about it already this week with interviews and said, you guys have a very busy April coming up. So <laughs> this is the opportunity, though. It, it seems maybe daunting that you're going to play 20 games still right. left this month or whatever it is. But the fact that you have um, so many games in a row, like you said, if you put it together, mm-hmm. it'll roll. Right. And, and everything will you know, turn around just like that. So just getting getting that uh, everything um you know, in line and clicking, and then it snowballs from mm-hmm. there. But um, you've been in the program, you know, for, for three, years. three years. You know what you know what to expect and everything. Yeah. Um, you've seen a turnaround just like that. Um, you know, I guess talk about um, you know, your role now as an upperclassman, and you know how you how you fitting in, and what you would like to continue to improve upon to um, help the team. Okay. Uh, so being here for three <laughs> years. Um, I've seen a lot, and, you know, I can kind of anticipate, like, questions that the underclassmen have. That's yeah. kind of my role. I, you know, filter <clears throat> some things out so that coach doesn't get the the mundane, easy sure. questions, you know. Sure, um, sure. And just helping people focus on their role as um, a player and um, a teammate. Right. And just, um, just instructing kind of the younger ones and, like, sure. And also working on myself. I mean, I have a right. role as well, and mm-hmm. um, I definitely have to fulfill that to help our team. Every, you know, if you make yourself better, you make the team better. Exactly, so. exactly. Yeah. Um, and then the, the second part again, you know, what are you what are you looking at working on? I mean, you still have a lot of career left, but what are you working on in the next few weeks to, you know, improve the team to get to the point where you guys are making a, a serious push in the tournament? Um, I... For team wise, I think working on our communication is really helpful on the field, especially you sure. know um, where how the ball moves and across the field. We we definitely need to improve on that, sure. and um, so being a voice out there in yep. general. Yeah. And um, myself hitting wise, I need to just you know figure my some stuff out sure. because sure. I've been struggling. So sure. Yeah. It's a couple things, right? Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. Like, just yeah. minor yeah. details. Yeah. Right. <laughs> a couple things, and all of a sudden they're they're gone. They're gone. Yep. <laughs> um. With, uh, again, busy week, you guys still have six games left uh, this week. Yep. Um, you know, Mount Mercy, and then and finally get back at home again. You guys just have one of those weird schedules this year where yeah. we don't seem to be home very much. And, yeah. Um, I haven't even seen you guys play yet, so that's what's really, right, really strange. Baseball, so yep. It's just been crazy. <laughs> but um, excited about, uh, you know, six more games. Excited about getting mm-hmm. back and, and just, again, getting into maybe a, a routine of playing a lot. Yeah. Definitely. Um, home games are always really exciting yeah. too, because it's it's a comfortability thing. You know, we sure. practice there day in and day out. So right. um, and having the support from everybody, which is awesome. Yeah. You know, our stands sure. are always full. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll get into the personal stuff. You said you <laughs> yeah. kind of have a day off today, so yeah. I want you to enjoy your day off. You don't <laughs> yeah. To get stuck in here in the, the interview booth. Um, Gabby Branoff. What's your nickname? Gabby or Gabs? Yeah. Okay. That's all I go by. <laughs> just, just simple. Huh? Yep. <laughs> um, coming all the way out from Washington, we've had a mm-hmm. lot of talented Washington players in Oregon and that just a whole West Coast in that past. But why did you choose William Penn? Um, well, my senior year, I tore my ACL. Mm-hmm. So when I came out, I was limping around, and sure. just Penn felt like home. Like it felt like this was the right step for me. And coach just, you know, made it real easy. For, it yeah. was an easy decision. You know, some things just click. Sure. It, I just really did feel like that. And um, and great program for accounting-wise. Yeah, and sure. um, I just, I really felt like there was a one-on-one, like this is where I needed to be at sure. the time. So. Sure, definitely. Yeah. Um, 
we talked about this, so you're all ready for this question, but describe Coach Kristner in one word. Coach is dedicated, like dedicated to you as an individual, as a player, you know, he pushes sure. you in every single way possible, dedicated to the game, obviously. Yeah. Um, he's been doing this for how, however many <laughs> enough, years. He reminds years, us right. a lot. Um, and uh, he's dedicated to Penn itself, and, and I that's it, admirable. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, if you're a superhero, what would you be? Ooh, a superhero. Um, or maybe there's a superpower you want. Oh, superpower. Superpowers, superpower okay. Um, teleportation. Okay. Yeah, just think yeah. wherever I want to be. That'd just, be nice. Just here and here yep. and back to Washington. <laughs> yep. just like that, right? That'd be nice. There you go. Uh, people say you look like. Ooh. Um, like celebrity-wise? Either or. Okay. Could just be, could just uh, be a mom. You know, whatever. Okay. Um, well, Danielle Adia is on... At oh yeah, they yeah, say yeah, I look like yeah. Her all the time. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, favorite food? Oh, um, spaghetti. Okay. Uh, spaghetti and meatballs. Just spaghetti food. and meatballs. Mom's meatballs. Though. Okay. There you yeah. go. <laughs> favorite movie? Um, A Few Good Men. Okay. Old school. Yeah, yeah like <laughs> definitely. Favorite TV show? Ooh, um, Psych. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hasn't been on for a couple of years. Yeah, Netflix reruns. <laughs> there, I'm sure. Binge watching. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, your goal in softball? Um, to be the best player that I can be. Sure. And teammate. Sure. Definitely. Currently listening to in your iPod? Oh, um, the new Rihanna album. Okay. Yep. Oh, you and Cody. Yeah. You guys listening to she said, she too. said Rihanna too. Well, you guys we play that in the locker room a lot. There you go. <laughs> Um, if you had a million dollars, what would you buy? Oh, wow. Oh, a Cadillac. Okay. Yeah. The there newest one, all there black. You there you go. Yeah. You go. Um, if you weren't playing softball, you would like to play? Um, golf. Okay. Yeah, I would definitely try it. Sure. I don't know if I'd be any good at it, but, Maybe you'd like yeah. To try it. There you go. Um, Favorite, well, you said you won't really watch a lot of sports, so yeah. we're going to skip the favorite sports okay. hero one. Well, I thought of one, though. Okay, go ahead. Um, favorite sports hero. Well, like, sports figure, I'd say Joe Paterno. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Long, long time coach. Right. Like, a lot of dedication. Right. There. right. Sure. Um, person in history you'd most like to meet? And it doesn't have to be a famous person either. It could just be... Great grandpa um, or something that you never got to meet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Audrey Hepburn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Um, you've had this opportunity. You would have helped recruit Coco and, and Cody and, and so many others. But what do you tell um, these kids to, to bring them here? What's your what's the selling point of William Penn softball and William Penn University? Um, it's always it's a great opportunity to play college softball sure. and it's a great experience to play William Penn softball. Sure. Um, and, you know, Coach always says what you put into it is what you get out of it, and yep. that's so true. And um, and I I think the amount we put into it, we get so much out of it, not just as a softball player, but as a person in yep. life. There's a lot of life lessons learned. Sure. And um, I think that at, once you get out of the program, and I'm sure all, all alumni could say this, that, you know, you become a better person. It makes you a better person. Sure. And I think that that's a great selling point for the yeah, program. definitely. Um, and again, obviously the accounting program, mm -hmm. you feel Definitely. strongly about that. Definitely. So, um, that leads me into the, the last question I have. Um, obviously accounting major, CPA, CPA. Is, is down yep. the road for you. <laughs> yep. Sure. Alrighty. Um, and going back home, staying around the Midwest. You know, I think I'll just... stay here for a little bit sure. and get my CPA, you know, certification sure. and, um, hopefully ending up in Pennsylvania somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Pennsylvania, well, you yep. just keep on going east. Fam yeah, yeah. I'm, my family always jokes I stopped halfway. I yeah. made it to Penn, but like, go, I didn't right. make yeah. it all the way. Get all the way there, <laughs> yep. Sure. All righty. Well, Gabby Brand, I really appreciate you sitting down for a few minutes, uh, the short appreciate notice it. and everything. So um, best of luck. You guys, again, have Mount Mercy and Cedar Rapids tomorrow, mm -hmm. then Baker and Benedictine coming back to Oski on Saturday, Sunday. So check out Gabby and the, the ladies. Uh, start rolling here real Definitely. quick. Hopefully the wa weather can continue to improve, and uh, as it warms up, you guys warm up too. So. Definitely. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you so yeah. much.